The B-21 Raiders route traced back to a lineage of experimental flying wing aircraft that emerged on both sides of the Atlantic in the 1930s and 1940s. In Germany, the Horton brothers, Reimar and Walter, pioneered a series of radical tailless aircraft culminating in the Horton Ho 229, the world's first jet-powered flying wing. Conceived during the latter years of the Second World War, the Ho 229 combined a sleek, minimal radar cross-section airframe with twin jet engines in the wings. Though only a few prototypes were built before the war ended, the design's stealthy silhouette and innovative aerodynamics marked it as decades ahead of its time. At the same time, aviation visionary Jack Northrop in the United States was independently pursuing the flying wing concept. His company developed the XB-35, later redesignated YB-35, a massive propeller-driven flying wing bomber, followed by the jet-powered YB-49, which featured eight turbojets buried in a 172-foot wing, exactly the wingspan later seen on the B-2 Spirit. The YB-49 achieved test altitudes near 40,000 feet and demonstrated a range over 5,000 miles, with surprisingly low radar returns noted even then. However, both German and American flying wing projects were ultimately shelved. In the US, technical challenges, particularly in yaw stability and jet engine reliability, along with a shifting strategic focus toward the conventional Convair B-36, led to the cancellation of Northrop's designs by 1950. Yet the aerodynamic and stealth advantages of the flying wing remained a dormant but potent idea, one that would eventually be resurrected with the B-2 and now refined to maturity in the B-21. If you've enjoyed this content, subscribe to our channel where we deep dive into military aviation history